Vanishing Twin Syndrome Vanishing Twin Syndrome can take place during early or later pregnancy. It is a type of miscarriage. In a situation where more than one embryo appears to be developing in the uterus, you might be informed by the doctor that you are carrying twins, triplets or more. In that later stage of the pregnancy, one of the embryos or fetuses may no longer be detected. The baby that does not develop fully is called the vanishing twin. This condition was not known until the development of ultrasound technology. The condition can be diagnosed more often now since mothers can view their developing babies from early in pregnancy. After the developing twin disappears, its fetal tissue is absorbed by the surviving baby and its mother. Vanishing twin can cause a lot of emotional effects to the mother who has been informed that she is carrying multiple pregnancies. Parasite twin, there is a difference between a vanishing twin and a parasitic twin. With a parasitic twin, two embryos begin developing together. Unlike with conjoined twins, parasitic twin does not fully separate in the initial phase of development. After some time, one of the embryos stops developing like the vanishing twin syndrome. In this two situations, a baby might be born with tissue from the twin that didn't develop still attached to it. What causes vanishing twin syndrome? Vanishing twin syndrome is caused by chromosomal abnormalities. This is the same reason most early miscarriages occur. When an embryo implants in your uterus and starts to develop, the growing baby cells make infinite copies of its DNA every second. In the course of this process, chromosomes can be switched or left out of cells completely. The result of this is that a developing fetus can end up with DNA that can't develop the way it needs to. If this happens, a miscarriage occurs. When it's twins or multiple pregnancy, the multiple sets of DNA develop independently of each other. This means that one fetus can keep growing after its twin stops developing. Symptoms of vanishing twin syndrome, cramping and bleeding. If your doctor has confirmed that you are carrying multiples and then you experience symptoms of cramping and some bleeding, it might be possible that one of the embryos has stopped developing. Abnormal human chorionic gonadotropin levels. Human chorionic gonadotropin is a hormone that is tested to detect if you are actually pregnant or not. If pregnant and especially with multiples, the doctor may want to monitor your human chorionic gonadotropin levels to ensure they are rising the way they should. A human chorionic gonadotropin level that starts out high and then plateaus could indicate that one fetus has stopped developing. Diagnosing Vanishing Twin Syndrome Vanishing Twin Syndrome is usually diagnosed during an ultrasound appointment. The first ultrasound is done between 8 and 12 weeks of pregnancy. During this time, there might be two or more heartbeats on the ultrasound screen. When Vanishing Twin happens, there is one embryo on the screen on your next appointment. If the ultrasound cannot sense an additional heartbeat, you may be diagnosed with vanishing twin syndrome. There are cases when vanishing twin is not determined until you deliver the baby. Some fetal tissue from the twin that stopped growing may be visible in your placenta. treatment of vanishing twin syndrome. If there is a miscarriage of a twin during the first trimester, nothing can be done in the way of medical treatment. The twin that stops growing is reabsorbed into the placenta and into the baby that the mother is carrying. Some indicators of the twin might remain in the placenta when delivery of the baby is done. In most cases, the pregnancy will continue as it would have if you were carrying one baby to start with. There might be an increased risk of premature birth or low birth weight for the remaining fetus. Your pregnancy may be deemed higher risk and require more testing and monitoring if you lose a twin later in pregnancy. 
There are some suggestions from some studies that losing a twin later in a pregnancy increases the risk of cerebral palsy for the fetus you are carrying. Vanishing twin syndrome is more common than people realize. The physical symptoms may not often pose a threat to your continuing pregnancy but it can be emotionally painful if you are experiencing cramping, spotting or pelvic pain during pregnancy, you should visit a doctor.